I'm currently taking bets. How long until I smudge one of my nails that I just painted before I started filming? <gasps> well, if you said five seconds, you win. Hi everyone, my name is Holly, and in today's video I am sharing with you oof, this big, heavy box full of books that ended up on my doorstep. It's a book outlet order. They're common here. So yes, this is an unboxing, and this video also comes with a huge announcement, and that I am working with Book Outlet for this video, and I am now part of their vlogger friend program. Didn't see that coming. What this means is that you can go to bookoutlet.com or click the link in my description box and you will see my goofy face amongst all of these other booktubers who are way cooler than me, by the way. And see all of the books that I bought myself from that website so that you can buy them specifically for yourself. So all the books I'll be featuring in this video, you can find them easily. I have a picture, I have a little description of myself, which which, by the way, I still think they contacted the wrong person, but here we are anyway. There is no going back, Book Outlet. You have me forever. So let's go ahead and start with the very first book. And that is The Song of All by Tina LeCount Myers. This is a book that has been on my radar for quite a while. And it became very apparent to me that I needed to read it after reading The Wolf and the Whale. I just desperately need more fantasies set in like a snowy arctic environment and how perfect is this going to be to read in winter this will 100 percent be on my winter tbr and i can't wait it's a dark epic fantasy set in the middle of nowhere with gods and corrupt priests and we're following a man who was once known as this ruthless warrior but now he has settled down as a reindeer herder yeah I'm here for it, and he lives in this small village with his wife's people, but unfortunately a priest shows up in their village and he gets the sniff on who this man used to be, and things get a little messy. It's inspired by Scandinavian culture and folklore. I mean, this book is already just dripping with so much depth and storytelling. I cannot wait to invest my cold and wintry time within this book. The next book I decided to pick up from Book Outlet and I was so hyped to see it because it's another one that's been on my radar and that was The Perfect Assassin by K.A. Dorr. This is the first book in a kind of recent epic fantasy featuring a character who is from a family of assassins, so very Assassin's Creed-like. I've been on the hunt for a really good good assassins story and I read uh, Age of Assassins by RJ Barker but that one was just a little bit disappointing so um, here we have another. Plus this world is supposed to be a slight variation of medieval England and if that doesn't scream my name then why do I even exist? It's centered around a desert city that is built on top of platforms and the plot is supposed to be centered around a whodunit mystery. Our main character must hunt the killer of one of the city's chiefs and also help his family who have been blackmailed and this book is so incredibly short and I'm really curious to see if there's enough impact and punch so we shall see there's only two books so far but this just looks so enticing the next book that i was so excited to see on book outlet was gates of stone by angus mccollin first off we love a big kitty on the cover oh my god there's a kitty inside of the kitty there's a lot going on here this is an Indonesian inspired fantasy and I kid you not, I have heard people describe this book as Game of Thrones in Asia and that just makes my loins quake. Honestly, it's probably nothing like Game of Thrones but I like the hustle. You have a young woman who is in a arranged marriage and she kills her husband on their wedding night. That is one hell of a way to sell me a book. There's a couple characters that you're following in this, one of them being a princess of of an empire and her ascension is denied solely because of her gender and her plotline revolves around her 
finding wealth and power amongst these tropical islands to regain her inheritance. Another character is a prince whose life is shattered when a sorcerer shows up at his village and kills everyone and steals his father's ancient sword. So we have a fantastic array of stories here and I am so hyped. All right, so the rest of these books are actually sequels to books that I own and I decided to splurge on because why not? I have no self-control, shelf control. And first we have a pair, Age of Swords, book two, and Age of War, book three by Michael J. Sullivan. Can I hold these up at the same time? We'll try. I don't know how people do this. Michael J. Sullivan is an author I desperately want to read from. And I know these books take place thousands and thousands of years after or before? After, that's right, his previous series. So it's set in the same world and I technically could still read this series first because I have actually been recommended to read the series first before Theft of Swords even though I feel like that's total blasphemy and I definitely won't do that don't worry don't panic I think people just say that because it takes place so much after the other series and this is kind of like a new fresh beginning so I guess it's a possibility but my heart won't allow it I actually have a solid plan for Michael J. Sullivan in the very near future. I really want to prioritize his books. I'm thinking starting in January because John Gwynn is going to get probably the rest of my year. Michael J. Sullivan 2020, here we come. Up next, I have The Land You Never Leave by Angus Watson. This is the sequel to You Die When You Die, which is right here actually look at those matching covers which i have been wanting to read for so long and i have such high hopes that i decided to get the sequel because i feel like i'll want it on hand because i've heard that the cliffhanger to the first book is very dirty it's supposed to be a semi-historical fantasy based on vikings and native americans plus i love adult fantasy that has a good balance of strong male characters and strong female characters and I've heard that this book does that very well. It's supposed to be very action-packed and bloody. I expect this series to be a five-star read for me if I were doing one of those prediction videos. Um, the first book would definitely be on there so I really need to pick this one up so badly it'll happen soon. And the final sequel that I decided to pick up from Book Outlet is The Blackest Heart by Brian Lee Durfee. Now I just hauled the first book to this um, in my last book haul and I saw that Book Outlet had book two and I thought to myself, why not? This one is even larger and I believe it's just under a thousand pages. I do own a couple books that are a thousand pages so longer than this but I believe this is my thickest book that I own. Hold up, let me check. Okay so I have the Night Angel Anniversary Edition. Let's see this. Oh that is so close but I think, I think The Blackest Heart has it. But then again, the black could be slimming it down. You know how black makes you look thinner? But I don't know. This is supposed to be a five book planned adult fantasy. And if this is any indication that the books are going to get bigger and bigger, or maybe stay this size, I expect this series to take up like half of a shelf, which is a little problematic. I just love the idea of this series. Um, I'm trying not to read the synopsis, but it says gladiator, assassin, thief, princess, and the slave. It's supposed to center around an ancient prophecy and it's supposed to be very complex and the world is supposed to be huge and I'm so excited. I'll show you the first one actually, right here. The Forgetting Moon is the first one and uh, Oh yeah, it's juicy. Alrighty, so those are all of the books that I got from Book Outlet. Don't forget to check out my vlogger friend page. I'll link it down below for you if you want to get any of these books for yourself. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed because it helps me out so, so much. And don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every single week. Follow me on Instagram at hollyheartsbooks and on Twitter at hollyneese. And until we meet again, happy reading.